what you're describing, Kayla, is actually post-traumatic growth. Mm. Have you heard of post-traumatic growth? No. That's So we've talked about post-traumatic stress, but there's this beautiful concept called post-traumatic growth that we can go through a trauma and, yes, we'll experience symptoms of, of grief and depression, maybe even anxiety, that, that's all normal. And resiliency is about bouncing back to my pre-trauma self, who I was before I experienced that trauma or that loss. Mm -hmm. But then post-traumatic growth is about entering into the flourishing range, mm -hmm. actually becoming a, a better version of yourself mm -hmm. for what you've been through. And it doesn't mean that you'd, <laughs> you're glad you went through the trauma right. <laughs> or the loss, but it's, I'm coming through this and I'm changed for the better. Mm -hmm. I'm not staying in that sort of dark mm -hmm. stage of, of grief or, or dark period of grief. And I'm not just being resilient, I'm actually flourishing. Mm -hmm. And so there's some psychological concepts that are, are linked with that and it's gratitude, what you're describing, I'm grateful. Social support, which we're talking about, grieving in community. It's having a renewed sense of purpose and meaning in life mm -hmm. that, okay, I, I want to focus on this because the other stuff doesn't matter mm -hmm. anymore. Um, and even belief in a God who cares. Mm -hmm. Research has shown that that is linked with post-traumatic growth wow. and, and hope. So all these things that we've been talking about today are really linked with that post-traumatic growth that we can it's get through stronger. It's like when your loved one falls asleep that it wakes you up. Oh, that's yeah. exactly right. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. It yes. wakes you up. Mm -hmm. Because it's not like you weren't living a beautiful life before, mm -hmm. but your intentionality to make sure it's so is just more heightened, mm -hmm. don't you think? Oh yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, yeah that's beautiful. And everything that you're saying, I, I mm -hmm. it, it is, and, we, and we've had a series, I mean, in the last two years, <clears throat> as recently as um, in the last 48 hours, we are in our family up to loss of eight people wow. in two years. It's almost like it just won't stop. Mm -hmm. But, but, the acuteness, sometimes fear, mm -hmm. but more so awareness that we are not designed for here, mm -hmm. that we are not mm -hmm. always going to be here. So with whatever time we have, mm -hmm. how do we want to spend it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Developing. Mm -hmm. And then you just find yourself saying, certain things just aren't worth the energy. Yeah. Right. I don't have time to be angry mm -hmm. with you. I don't have time to, to waste. Mm -hmm. And that all the things that I wanted to do, that I meant to do, mm -hmm. including giving a beautiful life to those that I love, my children, yeah. I'm limited mm -hmm. on my time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nothing doesn't matter. <laughs> Right. Mm. Everything matters. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. But the little nothings don't matter. Right. Mm. Yeah. The little things grow smaller. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You just kind of learn to pick um, what to flush. Yeah. Yeah. And right. what to flourish. Because mm -hmm. so many things that mattered before shouldn't matter now. Mm -hmm. uh, you flush those things that that really don't matter because you're judging everything in the light of eternity now, yeah. not in the light of life mm -hmm. on the earth. But my expectation level changes for every decision I make is about eternal things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I heard someone say recently, and it so makes me think of what we're talking about this week. We are so um, hardwired in our Christian faith to look for the spectacular, mm. that we miss the supernatural. Mm. And all of these journeys are supernatural journeys. Mm. There, God is taking us from glory to glory, but between glory is hell. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's all these right. valleys of hell yeah. that we go through. We don't bounce from glory to glory. We walk through hell to get yeah. to another little glory, yeah. walk through hell to get to another little glory. But we're flourishing because we're moving. Yeah. I, I didn't want to move. I, I, I thought, awesome, Gabrielle's going to heaven. A week later, I'm fighting horrible symptoms. Three months later, I'm diagnosed with colon cancer. Yahoo, I'm out of here. Yeah. And that's what I want people who are watching us to understand. You don't have to stop living. That's a choice I made. Yeah. I made a choice to stop living, and then I decided I'm going to live. Mm -hmm. 
And I think when grief comes so many times, it's like it's screaming at you, just stop living, mm -hmm. just stop living, just stop living. But that's the lie. Mm -hmm. We can't, if you believe that lie, you're going to stop living. Right. Mm -hmm. And everybody around you is going to have to watch you wither up and die. Mm -hmm. But here's the beautiful thing about grief. If you'll allow it to do so, it gives you the opportunity to wear a new set of lenses. Mm -hmm. yeah. It gives you a new pair of glasses Absolutely. to see your experiences through. And I believe that even in the conversation that we're having, yeah. it's waking somebody up to go, wait, I can look at this differently. Yeah. Right. I can look at this differently. And if I haven't been living up until now, mm -hmm. it's not too late for me to start. Mm -hmm. And to be living well mm -hmm. and to be making what I have in my life, the people that I have in my life, my experiences, mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. It pulls your focus. It pulls your focus. <laughs> Gets all out. Get does. this out of the way. And yeah. focus. Bring yeah. you down. Hi, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.